So the wind distribution, the distribution of horizontal winds can lead to two different scenarios, which are shown here. On the one hand, you can have a situation where the wind creates a horizontal divergence or convergence. Okay? In order to identify this situation, you can imagine that you have a control volume, it's like a house, and in this example you have two doors, yeah, horizontal, in the horizontal two doors, one front door, one back door, and what a divergence is or a convergence is if there is a net inflow or outflow of air through your horizontal doors. If there's air coming in, okay, it's called a convergence, and if there's more air leaving horizontally, it's called a divergence. And in fact, because air is largely incompressible, this horizontal divergence or convergence has to be balanced by a movement in the vertical, air movement in the vertical direction. Okay, well, we already talked about convergence and divergence in the context of the intertropical convergence zones. So on the right hand side you have a situation which we call wind stress curl. Okay, and in this situation your the top example, A, you have a wind which everywhere blows into the same direction, but the magnitude of the wind decreases perpendicular to that direction. You can see the wind blows to the north, but the magnitude, the wind becomes weaker as you move to the east. And this is what we call wind stress curl. And there's an, in the example B, it shows you another example. And to identify wind stress curl, you just put a hypothetical stick into that wind field. And if that stick starts to turn, okay, to rotate, then that's what we're then we're talking about a wind stress curl. And wind stress curl plays an important role in the development of ocean circulation patterns.